For most of its history, the guitar has solely been a fretted instrument. Frets allow the guitar to be the versatile instrument that it is, giving it the ability to play complex chord shapes and melodic lines all at once, while still being in tune. So what happens when you take them away? Does a fretless guitar become a fun novelty or a truly unique music-making tool? In this series, we'll find out. This is Red Bid Blue 3. The first modification of a classical guitar to a fretless instrument is credited to Turkish musician Erkan Oğlu in the 1970s. It seems fitting that I use Turkish walnut for the back and sides and spruce from the nearby Caucasus region for the top. I am using a circle cutting jig with a Dremel to route out the channel for the rosette. It leaves a clean and flat cut that makes a great surface for the rosette to stick to. I am trying out a bracing pattern used by the French luthier Robert Boucher. It's a 5 fan brace with a large brace running under the bridge for extra support. It's important to radius your braces to match the radius at the top to ensure you have the best structural integrity. I'm using the tried and true go bar deck to clamp the braces. While it is a bulky system, it's really easy to use and is very effective. Carving the braces will always be an exciting part of the build. The top is the heart and soul of the instrument, so it is important to take your time. The goal is to have a light but strong top that will put out what you put into it. So why did I decide to build a fretless guitar? I love Turkish music and have played a lot of it on a fretted guitar. Turkish music, like many non-Western music traditions, make use of the notes in between the frets of the guitar. This is no issue on traditional Turkish instruments, but for a guitar to be able to do this, some modifications have to be made. You can either add extra frets to your fretboard, a practice that another Turkish musician, Tolgahan Çolu, has developed, improved upon and shown to the world. Or you can take the frets out completely. I first listened to a fretless guitar played by Cenk Erdogan, you guessed it, another Turkish musician. I was completely hooked. I knew I had to make one. 
I will leave a link for Tolga Hunt and Jenk's channels below in the description. I encourage you to check out their incredible work. I'm using a bending iron to bend the sides of the guitar. This can take some time, as the wavy grain of this walnut makes it more difficult than some timbers. I have lost the footage of the assembly of the body, but I end up laminating the sides in a vacuum press for added stiffness. The sides also retain their shape better that way. I'm cutting the binding channels with a routing jig, then it's back to the bending iron to shape the bindings, then glue them in. Join me next time as we carve the neck and begin the assembly and finishing process. Thank you for watching. This is Redbeard Lutheran.